Hello, and welcome to the HDI Propagation Series. My name is Harley Smith, and today I'm going to share my perfect clone solution. Do you want to have better results cloning? In the next few minutes, I'll show you how. The secret to successful cloning starts long before the first cutting is ever taken. It all starts with the mother. Choose your healthiest, most vigorous plant with superior characteristics. Out of 100 seedlings, you may only find one plant that is the best of the best. That's your new mom. Once you've identified the mother of your future clones, start feeding it with a mother plant fertilizer. A good mother plant fertilizer should have adequate nitrogen, just enough to support a good root to shoot ratio, but not so much that all the stored energy is burned up. A good mother plant should have strong stems with a tight two inch internodal length. Calcium is the key. Part A of mother plant fertilizer has all the calcium, but unlike other fertilizers, it has organic additives that help the plants take up calcium thousands of times faster than simple osmosis. Calcium strengthens the cell walls so plants can take up water and all of the other minerals more efficiently. Remember, when you take a cutting, it's separated from the mother for the first time. It has to depend on stored water and nutrients until it develops its own roots. So a good mother plant fertilizer is the first step for successful cloning. The next step is foliar feeding. About two weeks before taking cuttings, spray your plants with a fine mist of seaweed extracts. Or better yet, try the rocket fuel recipe found in this video series. The seaweed has natural plant hormones that pull the nutrients into the leaf tissue and stimulate lateral branch development. A spray with one to two teaspoons per liter of seaweed extracts is all you need. So now you have a push-pull effect. The mother plant fertilizer increases the uptake of water and nutrients, and the seaweed extracts pull the nutrients into the developing branches. That's perfect. When it's time for taking cuttings, the best growers use a cloning gel to dip their cuttings. Powders are okay, but gels are better. The gel sticks to the stem, sealing the wound, and the rooting hormones stay in contact with the stem where they're needed the most. The hormones send a signal to the plant saying, make roots. But the plant needs an abundant supply of stored energy to actually grow the roots. So now the picture is becoming clear. It's synergistic. Mother plant fertilizer promotes nutrient uptake. Seaweed extracts direct the energy into the developing branches. And the cloning gel releases the energy in a burst of new root growth. The last step is feeding the tender clones. Right after taking the cuttings, the clone doesn't need any fertilizer. It's using the stored minerals from the mother. But after a few days, the cutting starts to develop microscopic root hairs, even if you don't see them yet. At this point, the right fertilizer can do wonders, but the wrong fertilizer can burn the tender root hairs. So choose a very mild fertilizer preferably one with plenty of phosphorus, trace elements, and B vitamins. The extra phosphorus promotes root growth. The trace elements activate enzymes essential for healthy growth, and the B vitamins speed up the metabolism of the new root cells, supercharging the rooting process. The results? More lateral root development and more root mass. And as a bonus prize, less transplant shock when you're ready to transplant your clones. So there you have it, Harley's Perfect Clone Solution. Mother plant fertilizer for healthy moms, nitrozyme seaweed extracts for healthy branches, Clonex cloning gel for faster rooting, and Clonex clone solution fertilizer for a strong, healthy clone. That's all for now. For more tips on cloning, please contact Hydrodynamics or watch the rest of this video series. Until next time, good luck and good growing.